Having the UFICAM 2 Pro cameras active all day meant that my phone would receive a lot of notifications regarding neighbor activity. This would of course drain their batteries faster, so I searched online for a compatible solar panel. I'm Robert and in this episode I'll show you what came in the package I ordered, how I mounted the panel and some thoughts about the product after using it for the past 3 months. After searching online for compatible and affordable solar panels, I ended up on Amazon and found the UFICAM solar panel. This device was perfect as it was compatible with my UFICAM 2 Pro cameras, it would continuously charge the camera and the price was decent. The package arrived in a paper bag, so it seems Amazon is also thinking about the environment. Inside I got a nice little box from Anchor that states on the front that this panel is for continuous charging and is compatible with various UFICAM models. Let's see what I got inside. A fairly simple package with the panel on top and underneath we have a sticker A warning card in various languages, a user manual which also seems to be in different languages, the solar panel that comes with a permanently attached 13 feet or 4 meter long charging cable, IP65 rated protection and a nice design with an interesting texture on the front and a 1 quarter inch female thread for mounting the panel on the rear. An adjustable outdoor mount that seems to be made of aluminum with a ball joint and a 1 quarter inch male thread at the end. Some cable mounting adapters for the various UFICAM models. And last but not least some mounting screws. Mounting the panel was pretty straightforward. The most important thing that I had to take care was to have the panel tilted at an angle of around 30 degrees. There are various methods of determining the best tilt angle based on the latitude of your location, but this is a topic for another video. After the pole was fixed in place using the included screws, I used a phone app that would give me the tilt angle value so that I could roughly align the panel. After this I could connect the panel to the camera using the proper adapter. The final step in order for the panel to be recognized by the UFI security app was to change the power source setting to solar panel for the camera that I connected it to. As a conclusion, I would like to say that the panel worked great so far and the battery level of the camera stayed on 100% since I connected the panel. I believe this addition is a must, especially if the cameras are in a hard to reach place and also it removes the need of charging the cameras. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, till next time, take care.